Yo ho bro and welcome to the show. Again, we are back here on the Bificraft server. The server is set up to those that decide to be a Patreon to Bifa 2001. So, I am back here on the, on the Bificraft server. We are back here and we are going to take a look around at everything that has been going on. Uh, first, however, we are going to Take a look around at the base that I have set up out in the boonies, the uh, main base, because I don't think we took a look at that last time because we didn't really have it much of any, anything to look at. Uh, we did take over a jungle temple. It is going to be inside of the jungle. Uh, it's going to be our little starter base. So everything is looking a little nice down here. I got everything organized. Uh, labeled all the items that I uh, that I need. I like the I like the labeling system. I, I hadn't done this type of a, a labeling before, and I, I really I really like it. Uh, not only can I look at the picture and just realize that's what it is, but uh, if I'm ever confused, just walk up to the thing, and that's what it is. So I I, li I like the the visual colors of everything rather than having all the signs uh, just displaying the words. It's it's a little bit more aesthetically uh, pleasing to it. Um, these, I was kind of confused at what these heads were to begin with, but these are bunny heads. Uh, someone else had them placed somewhere. And uh, as I was trying to get some rabbit's feet for my potion shop that I showed you last time, I uh, got a couple bunny heads. And uh, we've been steadily collecting a few heads, like a puffer fish, regular fish. Um, so yeah, uh, just the teeny little base that we have right now inside of this area. This is actually just our storage area and other things. However, our dig site is getting progressive. Me and um, Viper King, me and Viper King are working hard on the dig over here. We're going to be making a jungle crate whore. Uh, got our beacon set up. It's not going to be too much bigger than this. Uh, with the area that we have mapped out, this brick area is going to be a radius of 40 from the beacon and that's going to be straight down uh, not too far about that far right there and all the walls are gonna be kind of organic like so like this see there's the right here is the line the radius of 40 that we have set up so that's going to go straight down and then the wall recedes inwards and it will have all these jungle trees on the side. Uh, I believe I have like a four by four jungle tree there that's not growing. And I'm assuming that's because this wall is still here. I'm hoping that I'm gonna be able to grow the trees on all these sides here. Else I'm gonna be having to build the trees on the side here. I'm gonna have to get a bunch of jungle leaves and jungle logs and I'm gonna have to build them which is not gonna be fantastic at all but anywho that is the plan for this area make a giant jungle crater there's gonna be a couple uh, floating islands here I haven't decided whether or not we're gonna take out the jungle temple I believe we're gonna leave it just for uh, easiness sakes uh, because it's uh, gonna be one heck of a job just, just to take all of our stuff from the jungle temple and relocate it so we might just leave it there just make it one of the floating islands that's around here let's take a jump up nope that didn't work there we go alrighty now there's the, gonna be the crater area and I've been clearing out a bunch of the trees so that our digging job can be a bit easier and then we're gonna basically just put right put put the trees right back in. Ah, uh, there's one small block. I'm not gonna be able to land on that. Nope, that's not gonna happen. Okay, so also the one thing I want to do is I want to head to the uh, southeast. I'm gonna head to the southeast see if I can actually find myself a swamp biome see if that's gonna have a bit more 
uh, what am I even thinking of? Clay, because the clay we're going to be using in a build over at Biff Underton, or the Spawn Town, as it has uh, been dubbed over many servers. So we're going to head over to the southeast and see if we can find ourselves a swampy biome. Got enough, uh, got enough, uh, fireworks to, uh, transport me as far as I need. And seeing as that we're on large biomes, I'm not sure exactly how far it is. So we will, oh, hey, another jungle temple. We will, I will cut here and we will come back right when I hit the jungle. Well, it wasn't too far. Um, oh, did I? Oh, good. I get. I did bring my shovel. Good, 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 good. Um, you might be asking, Jet uh, Puka, why didn't you just get a bunch of uh, clay that's over in the jungle in the rivers? And my response to that is, it's it's difficult to go into those rivers that are um, super teeny uh, and in this large biome and weird uh, generation of terrain, seeing as that we are at Y176, and this is the ocean level, uh, it, it's, it's difficult to actually get any clay out of the rivers because the rivers actually go deeper than, uh, than you suspect, and then they just turn straight into gravel. So the clay gathering is minimal over there. So I am was hoping that over here in the... Oh, boy. Oh, there we go. Lag subsided. Hoping over here in the swamp area, things would be a little bit better. And I think they are. Yeah, the, plus the terrain is a little bit more flat. There we go. Aha! Yeah! Good old Swamplands. Look at that! Oh my gosh! And a server that where everything is so hilly, it is magnificent to see something flat around here. So yeah, we got ourselves, um... Is it mending? Okay, good mending. Um, got ourselves a bunch of clay. I need a bunch of, uh... Clay bricks are the one thing that's, uh, uh, I have very little of for this build over on the server, uh, oh, what's the words I'm looking for? I'll think of them soon. Spawn Town, uh, Biff Underton, Biff Underton, the, the, the build that I have over in Biff Underton needs a bit more, uh, brick. And, and it needs specifically this brick because it has a uh, a city feel to it, and I need some of it. Oh, I'm drowning! Oh, hey, there's no drowning sounds. <laughs> oh, isn't that delightful to hear myself drowning? All right, how much do I have? Oh, oh goodness, I have a I have a pretty good amount. Let's uh, dig up a little bit more here. I'm glad that there is an even number of clay balls, no matter if you have fortune or not, whenever you're digging up this stuff. So that way, whenever I make the bricks, it's an even number that I get back when I'm cooking it. All right, so showed you over at my base. I gotta head back there in order to actually get back to Spawn Town. Else it's gonna be one heck of a flight back and boy my arms will be tired. Ha <laughs> ha! Anywho, back to my place. Go through the nether. So, got back here. Our clay bricks are, are uh, boiling away or uh, bricking, bricking away. I think I've bricked this system. <laughs> uh, anywho, I got to show you something. It's in the nether. Um, I'm not mad about this. Not mad at all. I, as a matter of fact, I actually enjoy this. But I've had to start a rescue operation 
inside of the nether. I am and have allowed anybody to come down here to the jungle to allow to themselves to get a parrot or any jungle resources that they that they need. But there's been a problem and I'm trying to rectify it. So I've had to start a sort of rescue operation inside of the nether. Here is one of these uh, TV bro broadcasted episodes that I need to show you now. Today on Animal Rescue, Nether Edition. Uh, hi, I'm, I'm the Puka. Uh, we are here today that we are going to uh, see if we can help out a couple parrots that have lost their way in the in the nether tunnel. They they were attempted to be transported to their uh, their owner's home, but got lost somehow. So we're going to uh, see if we can locate the parrot and see if we can uh, snaggle him and get him back over here to our shelter, so that way the owner can uh, lay claim to him once again. All right, we're we're, we're going to get into our emergency vehicle here. Um, Gotta gotta head on out and see uh, how far down this parrot might be. Oh, there's the parrot! There's the parrot! Stop the boat! Stop the boat! Stop the boat! Okay, let's let's uh, whoa! Okay, okay. Driver is not good. Okay, let's try not to scare it. We're we're gonna try not to scare it. Okay, we're gonna make sure that we can get this parrot up into the spot. Okay, the the parrot seems calm, docile. All okay, right, all right. He's he's. He's fine with our presence. That's good. That's good. All right, we're we're doing good. All right, get get you into the into the vehicle. All right, we're good. And we can head on back. It was a uh, it was a long journey, but uh, yeah, yeah, we found we found the parrot here on the track. So let's get you back to safety, bro. Okay, we're back here over at the station. Need just need to make sh don't don't panic don't panic. Okay, you can stop flapping those ears, uh, wings, wings, ears, what, whatever you call them. Okay, no. Okay, we we gotta get we gotta get him out of the vehicle. Vehicle. Oh, don't, don't. Okay, we're good. We're good. Some minor damage, but we can fix it. I know his panicking. You know, just. All right, let's get you into the cage so that the owner can get you back. Right back here in the cage. All right, so we've identified the problem of why some of the owners are losing their parrots down the highway. Apparently this track is uh, not up to code. Uh, we, we're going to have to talk with the mayor of, uh, of this road to see if we can fit, uh, fill in some of these humps. Because apparently when, when, when another smaller type of vehicle goes over these tracks and then comes back down over any type of hump, the parrot is lost. Uh, it it just kind of freaks out doesn't like a one block drop and it just kind of flaps off uh, we're gonna have to advise anybody that comes over to see the parrot to use an ice boat you're gonna have to use a standard ice boat we have free ice boats in this chest over here go ahead and use them unfortunately the other transportation system mine rail is not up to standard we're going to have to see if we can tap into the city funds and get ourselves a better rail for now it's best to use an ice boat all right i think it just hit me like a ton of bricks that i have enough bricks in order to brick when i need to over <laughs> I have enough bricks what I need to lay over in the uh, gopher, uh, gopher craft. <laughs> over in the Bificraft area. Let's get as many of these things as we can. Awesome. So let us head back over to the hub. Uh, not the, yeah, the hub. Because there's a few things there that I want to show you before we get over to our build that we have over in the Biff Underton spawn town. So we will show you that first. Um, oh, also, while we are heading back on the tunnel trail, we have like about five people that are actually connected to our tunnel. I'm in, I'm enjoying the the company, the attachments that I have to my tunnel. Um, it adds some uh, enjoyment to the trip. 
right here we actually have uh, Midnight, one, two, one, three, two, and I believe he has another friend that's up there. So I have uh, a little station that stops the boat and also stops the rail. Uh, this is the little hump that uh, causes... Bird? Bird? Oh, bird. Okay, this bird is meant to be there. Okay, I thought it was another bird that I needed to rescue. But yeah, it's a little stop stop spot for anybody that's running on the rail or by boat. And he has his tunnel right up here. Oh, oh, Le uh, that's one place that we will check out, kind of. Leasara is going to be having a... Leosara land, that is going to be basically a carnival area. And I know Voidford was planning on doing a... What am I thinking of? A ice boat racing area. Um, there was a little confusion on who was going to be making the carnival lands. Uh, and before that was all settled out, uh, Voidford had actually made a ice boat racing area. I'm not sure if he's already, uh, if he's going to be setting that up again, but if he doesn't, I'm totally going to do that because I enjoy that. Oh, goodness, I'm, I'm fantastic at the, uh, GameCube F-Zero game. Yeah, check that out. It just... It just messes with your with your perception on what's twisting. It kind of reminds me of Legend of Zelda, Ocarina of Time, and the Forest Temple, the one hallway that would twist backwards and forwards whenever you hit the eye. It, it's just super cool. And I, now that I lost my speed, it kind of uh, did that effect too. We're gonna fly down this tunnel. Awesome, check that out. And up. And yeah. It goes for about, I think, the same distance as my tunnel. So we are going to turn around right about now. Whoa. So that we don't go down all the way. But yeah, she's been busy on this. And I believe she's on. She's probably still working on the tunnel. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Okay, good. Woohoo! <laughs> I don't have much armor on. I probably would have uh, been a bug on the windshield there. There we go. Do do do. All right. But that's not all that's been building around here. This is my tunnel. Uh, I love, I love this. I love this. Uh, this texturing. It looks like you're about to fall through and you're not. Uh, since we flew down here, I wasn't able to show you this. And the fact that these steps work, it's a half slab, then it's a gate, and it's a half slab, and it works perfectly just as uh, half slab steps. And right up here, got to show you this too, these magma blocks and the lava right in there. And yeah, I got a couple more people that uh, branch off this tunnel. Got Carlos S.E. Uh, he has his main tunnel and recently added Coffee Queen. I believe she is uh, down at the end of Carlos's uh, tunnel. Let us fly back on down here. Whoa, that was close. And it'll be a sad day when this guy decides to put in a uh, roof. Uh, Scary Cat Sarah. Yeah, because uh, I don't have my quick access from uh, from the top. But then again, I should probably build my own right at the edge of my tunnel. Uh, I believe this is... Is this Amber Glow? No, this is Mistaken. Mistaken, that looks nice. I like how some people have uh, in color. A lot more color than mine. Definitely. Ah, Amber Glow. We had a fun time actually getting back to the hub, hub from her area. She's not too far off from my place. Mr. JJ. Uh, nah, the Leviathan. Uh, Leosara made a spawner for the Guardians, and my goodness, does it work fantastic. Oh, 
Wow, quad XP farm. Whoa. This is trippy. Look at this. Okay, okay. Who, is this just somebody's... Is this just a quad XP farm? I got a quad XP farm. Okay, yeah, this is the quad XP farm. Yeah, they, they, they've changed up this tunnel quite a bit. Whoa! Okay. Skeleton, zombie pigman. Yeah, this is... This is trippy. Oh, I love this tunnel. Oh, this is fantastic. Oh, I love that. Ooh. Okay. Subliminals. Uh, who's here? Community farmlands. I think Voidford set up a uh, area for, like, uh, redstone farms and such not. And there's the witch farm. Uh, apparently, due to our rendering map rendering that doesn't actually work properly so we actually have in a cheaty system but we put in all the work for it to actually work and then found out it doesn't work so we put in a, uh, a a cheaty spawner so that our work wouldn't go to waste uh odoric i love the blackness and the and the red that this has oh this is fantastic <laughs> i i didn't know that if you shift over this that you don't take any damage Good discovery. Um, it's over here. Cart to automatic. Oh, Wither Skeleton Farm. Ah, this is the main thing that I wanted to show you. Uh, let's just fly on down. Uh, that's not going to work. Okay. Yeah, we're going to fly on over there. Because carts too slow. Do, 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 do. Turn. Yeah, without any damage. Turn. Yeah. All right, flying down the tunnel. Now this place. This took forever in order to dig out. So the main build, the main uh, community thing is to completely dig out the nether in this radius and Leosar I believe did most of the digging Infern did a bunch of the digging I'm not sure who won the contest of actually digging out this nether but oh my gosh look at this this thing literally spawns everything but ghasts and funnels it in look at this thing so if we come over here and just stand for just like a couple minutes, I think everything is on actually a timer to be pushed. Yeah, you see those those uh, lights going off? Yeah, everything is being pushed in a certain order. So everything gets spawned, then they get pushed, and then they get pushed again, and then I think they get finally pushed into this thing. And this should drop some, but we do have a bunch of people on, so it may not do anything for right now. Oh, here comes some. <laughs> one pig man, everybody! One pig man! Now, I've seen this thing do a heck of a lot of mobs at once. And I, I got a, enough wither skeletons in like under a half an hour. And it's fantastic. Yeah, take a look at this. Oh, this is... This is huge. And I'm pretty sure Biff is not going to be watching this. But, uh, yeah, his big surprise is right down here underneath his face. Biff the Craft 6. But look at this space. I've done... <laughs> I did a minuscule amount of work for, for this area. But, yeah, this is crazy. Look, look at these pistons. Just watch this. I'm gonna I'm gonna sit here and you're gonna see this. You're gonna see this at action. Oh wait, those are those are uh, trip wires. Oh, never mind. That's not what I want to show you. I want to show you this down here. This is gonna. This thing is gonna go off. Whoa! I nearly fell to my death. And it's also a good spot for uh, blaze blaze rods. 
Alrighty. So let us go back to the nether hub. And we are going to go back to the spawn town. And we are going to see what's all transpired over there. And then we will show you the build that I've been working on. Alrighty. Into spawn town and things have changed quite a bit. The first thing, oh goodness, is these little garden areas that uh, people have put in. Rainbow Garden. Ah, uh, I've heard people don't like this, but oh my gosh, I absolutely love this. This is my favorite little garden area with all these little colors and bowels and hanging doohickeys and mushrooms in the ground. Oh, this is... I like this little garden area. It's fantastic. Oh, I just love it. It's, it's super cool. Uh, people have been putting in their advertising. Nero Pops Wood Shop. Uh, Beacon in a Box over by Corn Dog. I think that's the one right over there. And I put up my own advertising. Come back and check. Come out and check our premium priced magic filtered teas over at the Tea Club. <laughs> See what I did there? I used a uh, a wooden pickaxe in order for the uh, the the tea club because it's a wooden club. It's pickaxe. Get it? It's anywho. Um, this little garden area over here, and it's nice. It's a nice little garden area. Picnic, uh, t picnic cloth right over here. I think this is a a good. Um, Juxtapose to all the other builds around here. We have a little bit more dense foliage in, inside of this area. I th think this is one of those uh, Japanese uh, archways. I love that. So this must be a, a Japanese garden, possibly. A little table there. And this has got to be. This has got to be a uh, a Zen rock garden, I believe, with the little uh, ripples around around these. Uh, uh, stones and such forth with the with the flowing waterfall here all they all there is oh that's probably what this is you know the little water pump that mm, kind of goes mm, dook, mm, dook, dook. yeah the bobbing bird uh, water pump thing oh that's that's probably what's it, what it's over there uh, and we finally have our second shopping district over here so this is the North Market Tunnel, and people have a 22 by 22 market spot to fill out. And what do we have here? Uh, books. This is by Neropop. Okay, Neropop's bookshop. And Neropop's here. Say hi, Neropop. Say hi. Say hi. <laughs> So there pops uh, uh, apparently bringing a bunch of uh, uh, enchanted books into this bookshop. I love the walls so far. Got the chests up. So I'm going to be glad to see this place uh, finished up. It's going to look so cool. Uh, yes, every, pretty much every place is under construction. Almost everything is under construction down this hallway but looking good Nero <laughs> I just I just figured out where that where Nero comes Nero burning Rome he played the fiddle while while Rome while Rome, Rome burned uh, Teeny's Tool Shop, Armor Shop, is moving over here. Oh, okay, there the Repair Shop is actually uh, moving over to here. I'm going to be selling all enchanted books for one diamond each. Ooh. Ooh. Cheap books. Ooh, cheap books. Uh, Magic House. I believe this is coffee, or is this teeny? No, not teeny. Magic House. I believe this is... Coffee? I can't remember. I can't remember who had this place. Oh, goodness. 
Someone just wanted to put up a magic shop, and that's what they put up over here. I'm gonna say that it's coffee, but I can't remember exactly. Uncle Matt's beacon. Yeah, another another thing for his uh, his beacon. Oh, Void. Uh, one of the moderators, Void. Oh my gosh, that is a fantastic dragon head. Oh. Ooh. I see what that dirt's for. Oh, that is going to be a fantastic dragon. Oh my gosh, that is going to be so awesome. Oh yeah, look at that. The head's anything to compare off of. Oh my gosh, that dragon is going to be fantastic. Um, and we have Uncle Matt's bone area. Apparently he's going to be selling bone. Uh, possibly some other bone items. And over here, we ran into a little bit of a problem, and I fixed this up for you, uh, Uncle Matt, so that uh, you didn't have this little hole here. I fixed it up um, because he was running into my project behind this wall, which we are going to see next. Uh, but I thought, look at this place. And this, I'm going to tell you what I said on those signs. Look at this place. These bone walls with this grand architecture and these lighting and this dance floor, this ballroom dance floor. It is it was blood red brick. This dried blood red brick. It almost seems fit for a vampire. It seems very macabre. Or is macabre the word I'm looking for? Or a morbid. Morbid is probably the word I'm looking for. And it is very um, gothic. So I think that's the theme that he was going for. But yeah, it's very fit for a vampire. Uh, quick stop shop areas for here. Uh, Corn dog, did you did you did you did you want this to say huge instead of huge? Uh, just, just thing. But yeah, he has a beacon in a box. Ooh, he has some totems of undying. Where do you get those? Fifteen diamonds for a totem of undying. Might buy one just to have one. Um, I've been supplying this guy with, uh, jungle leaves. Apparently he's, uh, giving away diamonds for jungle leaves. Um, hey, if you see this episode, I'm just curious if it's okay to pretty up this wall because uh, I want to work on this back alley here and the pig ed pig headed pub so finally we've made it over to the tea club um, yeah things have uh, sprouted up a little bit we've uh, finished up working on the the tea club uh, I've made this little sign up here and Leah Sara pointed it out to me that uh, she said, man, I wish we could have other colored stairs so that you could have a fully green tea. I had not known this. I was completely oblivious to this. I'm like, oh, I like the color green. So I just put it in there into the tea. So it would be, I don't know, a little eye-catching green tea. I did not see that. Just I just put that there because it was a tea club. I was just... I did not see the joke there. But it fits me. A pun. Tea club. Green tea. Fantastic. Love it. So that that is now official. Thank you, Leah Sara. This is now the Green Tea Tea Club. Green Tea Icon Tea Club. So in here, I'm not sure if I have I don't I don't believe I've shown anything of this of this area over here. You walk in here, we have the the Puka's Tea Club. The prices are one diamond for three cups of tea. I have got to reiterate this. One diamond for three cups of tea. People have been overpaying me for their cups of tea. They've been giving me one diamond per cup of tea. I don't mind the overpayment, but that's what it is. Or you can pay three items that I have speci specified on the chests for one cup of uh, for one cup of tea. So three items, three cups, makes good sense here. But I can see how people get confused with some of the signs over here. So quick, 
uh, so uh, going through these, we have the spicy kick tea, um, which is a poison potion. We have the fading tea, which is the invisibility potion. We have the sleepy time tea, which is weakness potion. Uh, we have the double caffeinated tea, which is the speed potion. We have the your favorite tea for the healing for the healing potion. We have the eye vitamin tea, which is the night vision. We have the leg day tea, which is the jump boost. We have the tea breathing tea, which is the water breathing to potion. We have the muscle tea, which is the strength potion. We have the hot tub tea, which is a fan favorite. Uh, which is the fire resistant potion. I need to restock on that. It is getting low. This is these guys are uh, Just set stock. I haven't had too many people buying out these this guy I've pretty much had to refill several times So fire resistant potion fan favorite over here. We have the dr. T uh, Which is the regeneration potion it is dr. T not mr. T. Thank you we have the Drag Your Feet Tea, which is the Slowness Potion. And we have some new teas since I put up this place, which is the Group Heal Omega Tea, a head nod towards um, Earthbound, which is the throw potion, uh, Throwing Potion Instant Heal 2. Uh, we have the Shut Your Face Tea, which is the throw potion of invisibility so that you don't have to see their face anymore. We have the lifesaver tea, man overboard, water breathing tea. We have the hello neighbor glue tea. You toss this and it's like the hello neighbor glue bottle. And oh, it's uh, the slowness potion. That's right. So those are all the fabulous teas that we have inside of our tea club. There's a few extra things that uh, we have just for coming into the shop that are free for anybody. Uh, anybody can recycle their glass over here in the recycle bin. We have the prepping station over here. We have the purest water filtered by, filtered by arcane magics. So up there in my base, we have it filtered into uh, coming down through my arcane hut, if you remember from last time. We actually have it coming down through here. So all the arcane magics are brewing into the perfect brew of water. And then we use that water into our little teapots here off the side, which are able to be used by anybody that comes by. These blaze powders are free for public use, and so are the brewing stands. So just come by. You can have some of the recycled glass. Just uh, come in here, point your water into a uh, bottle into here, get the water, and go ahead and brew up. As a matter of fact, we have some. I'm just going to quickly break from this area. And you can come up here, and you can actually grab yourself if what? Server reset, I believe. I wasn't paying attention. I'm going to assume that it was a server reset. Yep. Server reset. Okay. You can come right up here. Sorry about the root and server reset. And you can get uh, your wart if you wish to. Over in my arcane hut. All the water dripping down the stalactite. Uh, watering pretty much everything that's going on around here and actually it is literally connected let us swim on down through the pool and we're in the tea club so yes it is literally connected and let's see here we have other public uh, services up here we have uh, condiments that you can put inside of your tea we don't have any sugar that you can put in your tea instead we have enhancements to put into the uh, teas unless what does that say unless you have that to an art <laughs> uh, we have ketchup that you can put into your tea to lengthen its uh, duration we have a mustard that you can put into the tea which strengthens its potency and we have pepper that you can put into the, your tea which will uh, cause you to throw your tea 
not sure why. Uh, we also have some free teas that we have up here. We have uh, some mundane teas that are uh, really don't have any effect. We have some uh, Mrs. Biff Biffa's coffee beans. We have some English breakfast tea leaves. We have some golf tea leaves. We have some green tea leaves and we have some dull gray boring tea leaves. And we also have some hobbit jalapenos doo -doo -doo -doo, for no reason whatsoever. If you just would like to have a um, side to your tea. Like if you were to have uh, fish and chips or fries or such forth. You can have jalapenos with your tea. <laughs> um, so far, we have a wall of obsolete payments. Currently, we only have one obsolete payment. These are payments that have amused me that I have allowed them to be uh, payments once. So, Mrs. Neat uh, has gotten uh, teas because she was crafty in what she did. She had given me a book that said 1D on it because all of my boxes down here say 1D, which means one diamond. But she took it in a different direction, literally. As she says, Harry Styles, uh, Nylon Harry and blah, 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 blah. Anyways, they're all from one direction. These are all the people from one direction. You get it? Pun. I love it, so I allowed it to be payment once. So, that is an obsolete payment. Anybody that wishes to make something clever, it has to be clever, I will allow the payment. So, uh, you cannot pay this way again, get more creative. But anyways, yes, tea sipping area up here. Um, but yes, we have also another build to get out of our little spiel of the tea club there and out of our affluent voice. We have the alleyway back here, and this is the pig-headed pub back alleyway. Uh, there's a loft apparently for free, and oh, is that blood? Oh, this this doesn't look like the friendliest of uh, back alleys. Uh, low lighting, half slabs, at least there's no monsters that are going to be spawning. Oh, this is a creepy back alley. Uh, trash can. Oh, this is uh, this is one of those uh, massive uh, trash cans. The pig-headed pub. Oh, what do we have back here? Um, all drinks are on the house. Enjoy. Oh, no. There's um, some uh, competitive potions over here that are completely for free. Where are they getting their potions? <gasps> They're getting them from the tea club. Oh, no. So anything that's inside this box over here is for free. Goodness. Supplies are limited. Uh, so, yes, this is the pig-headed pub. Come in here. There is uh, drinks are on the house. Everybody enjoy. Uh, open mic night. We got ourselves a uh, a stand for any karaoke and or comedy that you wish to present to the crowd. Uh, currently, the bar is not open. It's still daytime. Um, we have a loft up here that is uh, for rent, for free. Uh, it is vacant right now. We have just a bed and a chest and a lookout to pretty much nothing to the next building over there apparently which doesn't have too much going on. Apparently they have the lights off here and what I'm trying to do is make a, a, a maze type alleyway with uh, w weird creepy seedy places off to the side so it's it's looking good so far. I might extend it just a little bit more off in this direction. Off in that direction, it should be pretty safe uh, for uh, not running into anybody at all because there's builds going uh, ju -ju 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 -ju, going directly this way. And if I go, let's see here, that is north. So all the builds are going north. And the hole, I'm at the corner of the circle here. So if I head northeast with these alleyways, I won't run into anybody at all. 
it is pretty much empty over here. And they said it's okay uh, to do that as long as I don't interfere with uh, anybody else's builds. And as a matter of fact, if anybody comes across this, I am willing to just let them have their space. It is quite fine. I am happy to work around it, as seeing as it would be an obstacle. And I'm trying to make it very mismatched, mismatched around here, because it's very, oh, how, how can I say this? It's very, uh, there's, there's one building here, there's a building there, there's a building here, trying to make it like uh, one of those city, uh, city alleyways uh, with all the, the back doors to all the places. I'm pretty sure um, Uncle Matt doesn't want a, uh, a back door to, to his place, and so these doors will probably just lead to little shops uh, of such sorts and, uh, and little, um, little spots. Let's dig that out. Yeah. So, um, have a little, um, upper shops there, too. Yeah, make this, make this place look, uh, really, really creepy and seedy. Um, I'm thinking of naming each of these little alleyways. So, I would, uh, I would name back here, uh, have a, have a sign that says to Biff Underton Underton. So this is the under the Biff Underton, and I'd have a, a sign for this this alleyway that would be called Diagon Alley, and this one that would be called um, uh, Nocturne Alley, and over here that wouldn't be the wrong turn, and this road would be called uh, uh, you should pro probably shouldn't be down here road. Yeah, I I want to I want to name these things. Uh, really weird and creepy stuff <laughs> I just I just absolutely love this build now so I'm putting that there because I have a bunch of uh, projects that I have to work on uh, commission projects that I have to work on and this will help me work on uh, one project at a time I can do one shop and uh, feel like I've gotten somewhere so I can only be on uh, Minecraft for so long so this this will uh, give me the opportunity to work on one project for like a half an hour and then I can go back to working on my commission work that I'm doing f uh, that I'm doing for some other people so oh yeah so I think that completes the tour of everything that's been going on on Biffacraft so thank you everybody for for watching. Let's see if I can do this in F5. Oh, I can do it in in forward mode pretty easily. Can I do it this way? Nope, can't. Nope. Where's where's the floor? What? Nope. Okay, there we go. Ha! Ah, I lived. So thank you everybody for watching. This is the Puka signing out. <laughs>